Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and uh, this is the 10 sessions of the catalog real time training. In this catalog real time training, we'll talk today that flow design and how we can create the complete new flow and we can start using that flow. Uh, in previous section, we talk about that how we can create a form. So yeah, we already talked about a couple of times, but the now I put, I show you the some um, more deep dive and show you a couple of more options in that form. But today we'll design for uh, flow and using the flow, how we are achieving this functionality one by one. So it might be deviate from um, the, our document because the document, I did not design anything about the flow, but let's do that. To create that flow, uh, you have to go back to the flow designer module and un under this flow designer, you can create your own flow. So now what we'll do, we'll create a new flow. So let's uh, click the new, and then you have options called flow or flow action. We'll deep dive that, what is that for each and every one. But first we'll create a flow. Whenever you are creating a flow, uh, uh, you have to provide the flow name here. So we'll uh, say that this is our flow name, all external group, and this is the catalog item name. I'll put the flow name the same. Here we have a protections application. We know, don't need to think about that. Run as is a one important parameter, which show that user who have initiated the sessions or run as a system. So normally, whenever you run your workflow, it's run as a system. So depending on use case, if you select the user who have initiated the sessions, so it means that it will evaluate that your access. It will check the ACL. It will check that you have access to the particular table or not. But if you select the system, it won't uh, check all those steps. It will directly go and check the system. Now I'll just simply submit that. Once we submit that, the flow is, uh, I mean, the, it's a fresh flow where we have to define the trigger. I mean, on which condition you want to uh, trigger. So I'll just skip that. Here you have options called add trigger. You just simply add here. A uh, couple of, uh, for that couple of things, it's have the options. So our case, we are going to select the service catalog and you have advanced options where you can define that, but I'm not going to select at that moment. I'll click that uh, done and uh, save that. So now here we are going to add the actions. So I'll click the plus and then here I'll add the actions. So if you go to the service now core and if you see here, all these service now core related action is available. What is the action? Action is a, uh, you can say that function that help you to um, do a lot of stuff. You can have, it can help you to create uh, some tasks. It can help you to create uh, some record, all those stuff. So if you uh, see here, this is the header. By default, it's saying the default. If I scroll down, uh, there will be attachment. Uh, if I scroll down, there is a change. There is an email. And then under that, we have a um, service catalog also. So this is service catalog. Here under the service catalog, you have a create catalog task, get variables, report, producer, submit catalog from a request. So these are the options available. So very first thing is that we'll select that get catalog variables. Once we select the get catalog variables, by that um, we have to be in the picker, you have to select here and then select the trigger condition. And here in the template, you need to select the catalog item. So we'll say that external um, group access. So this is the one. Once you select that, all these variables which is available to your uh, catalog item and as a variable set or maybe as normal, all these catalog variables are available. With whatever catalog item you or variable you needed, you just uh, simply move uh, from left side to the right side. I will uh, um, move all this right now and click done. So this variable can be, or this variable's value can be used in further, okay? So first two things I'll do, I will send a notification once somebody raised the request, once somebody raised the request, I will send a, uh, a notification to the manager and uh, a manager email address. So that's will be my first job. And then after that, I'll create a task. So let's do that. So in the flow designer, if you click plus again actions and then um, if you click the core you have a uh, under this notification you have a send email and then send notification i will select the send email if you select the send notification you have to select the notification but i will select the send email once i select the send uh, email a email uh, came up 
I need to select the target. Uh, so in the target, I'll select that uh, this is my target record. And uh, here you have a two to whom I should include to the um, uh, to uh, to sending the notifications. So I will select that get variable and here manager email. So I will include the manager email. What will be the subject? So let's say that external group access requested by and then i'll select the requested for name so i will select requested um, um this name full name and then uh, uh, so requested for and then by i'll put the ritm number so i'll go back here and then i'll select the number Okay, so first I will send a mail uh, to that respective um, um, and then we will say that uh, here in the body we will say that uh, external group access required and here we can add all these variable one by one. So let's say we will select that uh, we can create a table even if we need so we'll create a table called two by two like this and here we'll select that number and here we'll select the variables i'll quickly do that so i'll show that number ritm number here uh, user full name and then uh, you will attach to this uh, name and here i will say the group name and i will pick that group name and then finally what else variable we can include let's see system so we'll select the system okay so this way you can directly you know include anything so let's done this so it will send a notification send a email and then so now what we'll do i'll create a catalog task to uh, to verify the user details is correct or not so basically for that what we'll do i'll click the action again system core and if i scroll down uh, so we have a options called uh, create catalog task i'll simply uh, select there here I have to select the requested number and then here uh, I need to uh, check, uh, put the short description call um, validate user details and we need, we can add couple of fields here called assignment groups. So I'll select the assignment group is called, uh, let's say user something like that. ad something like that ldap team so i'll attach that and in this uh, catalog uh, i task if you want to include some validate validation i mean some um, very, um, variable you can uh, then uh, show that variables so i'll include all these variables and done and if you see here we have a checkbox called wait so this will be wait until unless my task will be ended. So next, go back to the catalog item under this process. Um, you j we just need to be oh, uh, put that our external one and save that. And you just need to be activate this one. So once it is activated, uh, you, we are ready to raise the request. So this is activated. Let's raise the request quickly. So let's order. So it's generate a request, go back to the request and see uh, how it looks like.
so here if you see the RITM um, the RITM um, uh, showing that it's uh, right now we have an option for flow context if you click that instead of uh, show workflow we have a flow context once you click that flow context it will land you to the flow designer we need to be enable this flow context uh, this reporting turn on so we'll do that but um, right now you can see this is um, it should generate an email and it's generate a catalog task if I go back to the email uh, and create a digit to a and you can see this is our uh, email which we are expecting that's supposed to go and if you preview email um, all these details are coming up here right now um, so that's it uh, we just need to be on this property to see these uh, so we'll just go back to the properties We'll search that flow and name contains something like report. And if you see here, we have a call level of report contained by the flow engine. We just need to be turned on this one. So let's see what value it's accept. So we need to be on this one and save that this property. Now if we raise the request, it should allow us to see. If we refresh that. Is it going to be show that or we might need to create a fresh request? Let's see. So we might need to raise a fresh request for this one. So let's go back and raise one more time quickly. Uh, if we open the RITM, we have a flow context. If we click here, now it's supposed to be see that our flow. Let's see. Now we can see it is uh, flow is came up. Um, so whatever is happens, so you can see that it sent a uh, mail um, like that. Uh, so it create a catalog task and it is waiting to complete this catalog task. So what we'll do, we close this task here. So close task. And so once it is closed, uh, we can see our execution from there. So we'll just do J2A created on and this is just now completed because we completed that catalog task so this way you can generate uh, the uh, you know the flow designer attached to the attached flow designer to the catalog uh, item we'll do deep dive in next day uh, we might be make more complex flow and show you that how we can do a lot of stuff so how we can create our own actions and can be reused that so we'll do that in our next session till that time thank you very much have a great day